Hello all. Good evening. Hope I am audible to you. Hope I am audible. Okay, so let's see what's happening at an academy. Okay, so let's see what's happening at an academy. Okay, I'm hearing my own voice. Okay, I'm, I was just checking like uh, whether uh, I'm audible or not. Fine. So this, uh, this is the right time for you all to start with uh, films preparation. You have your uh, one year time for all of you to... Uh, to get back to your prelims in the next year so hashtag the right time that is the right time to start for UPSC preparation this is but this is happening between 22nd and 28th July you can hurry up the prices will be increased from 1st August onwards in this subscription you have the extension till mains additional 10% plus free test series only on the combo and academy notes will be there and CSE assure will be there you can save on the combo and test series worth rupees 30,000 can come free here this is applicable on one year subscription and onwards GS iconic and combo programs के लिए ये applicable होता है and an academy में an academy में आपको a one subscription to crack UPSC limited period offer is there you can join now the price hike will start from first August you can subscribe now look at the package you get two point three lakh का package just for fifty seven thousand five hundred one subscription to crack it all program where you can subscribe to the combo and it it has become much more exciting uh, this is applicable on plus uh, plus GS optional, iconic GS plus optional and you get 25% of the optional and 10% using my referral code. My referral code is Shilpa and 10 and additional 10% off on plus GS and optional only. You Also, you have free optional test series plus prelims and mains test series. This is a great chance for you to get all in one. So, this is a one sub, uh, as the name suggests, it is one subscription to Crack It All program. Good afternoon, Jignesh. Okay, I have not uh, posted in the Telegram group that I am live now. I will just post. So, look at the old, uh, old price, new price, the tenures and the limited period offer. You can note here one year subscription is valid till mains 2022. Two year subscription is valid till mains 2023 and you can subscribe now india's most comprehensive series for optional preparation is here and this is applicable only on gs combo and iconic gs combo subscriptions you have 21 tests for each optional course with 16 sectional tests plus five full length tests you can it is worth rupees 15,000 and it comes free with one year and above combo subscriptions the offer ends on 28th july it is curated by top educators analyzed by top educators and it is comprehensive model answers there is flexibility to write the test for seven days after the test is live 20 plus tests in a year as per the UPSC standard i'm good good afternoon pritam there is csc assure program where we endeavor that you clear UPSC and if you are not satisfied with your result, then the next attempt is on us. You can get a one-year extension on your two-year subscription. There is terms and conditions applied, so read about it. So this is CAC Assure program. You crack it and we assure to be with you. You can purchase two years and above subscription and get CAC Assure. So India is the most comprehensive UPSC series. You get at an academy where you can practice till you crack it. And also there are 80 tests every year with 50 prelims tests and 30 mains tests. 20 
full length test with 12 sectional test and 18 topic wise test this is worth rupees 30000 and it comes free with one year subscription and onwards this is curated by the top educators analyzed by top educators curated as per the changing upsc pattern and compete with the best in india upsc csc ultimate surprise mein aapko milta hai 20 books which is created by best upsc experts it is worth rupees 10000 and it comes free with one year subscription and onwards this has 100% syllabus completion, highly structured for the ease of learning and it is created by the best UPSC experts. Previous year in questions are included here and it is updated with current affairs. So if there is any financial problems, you can chase your UPSC dream and nothing can stop you from your dreams because you, An Academy is providing you loan for UPSC preparation with zero processing fees, zero percent interest rate. Approval will be in two hours. No hidden charges, minimal paperwork and flexible tenures. You can apply the loan here and use the form in the description section. An Academy combat scholarship is scholarship test happens every sunday at 11 a.m you can win scholarships worth rupees 4 crore 60 questions in 60 minutes and tests are bilingual that is hindi and english and you have free live test on your android app so enroll now use my code that is shilpa n10 there is kitab series which is an innovative course it will help in widening the horizon of the learners for upsc csc it has started from july 17th 2021 so this is a value addition course which covers discussion on two books per week books covered are directly or indirectly related to the upsc syllabus the course will benefit the learners especially for the indian society international relations ethics and essay papers the books are analyzed by top educators of an academy so new batches for UPSC CSE 21, 22, 23 aspirants are being starting from 28th July for Phoenix revision batches, one year one year batches, two year batches and NCRT batches. So you also have iconic program with personal guidance, study planner, study material, experts guidelines and test analysis with live classes, weekly tests, unlimited access and structured courses. You have two types of subscription. One is plus subscription. The other one is iconic subscription. So choose the one which you want and let's crack it with an academy. The first question is coming now. I'm Shilpa Nagaraju. I'll be taking you through art and culture and news for one year. You can follow me in my Instagram profile, Shilpa Arun Kumar, and you can also follow me in my Telegram channel that is Shilpa underscore an academy. Also, you can follow my profile at an academy. My name is Shilpa Nagaraju, and you can check out my schedules. I'll be taking current affairs, PYQs, and international relations. So, let's see the first question. This is about Tulu language. Please answer in the live chat. This is about Tulu language and they've asked for correct statement. So answer it. I'm checking in the... Checking in the, I'm checking in the live chat. All of you. Hello, Ankit. Good afternoon. I'll give you one last, last minute. So, Ankit has answered. Pritam, Prabhu, Aman have answered.
last few seconds last few seconds for all of you so this is about tulu language tulu language ke bare mein question hai okay let's see ye uh, tulu language was in use that's why i have took this in current affairs uh, class art and culture and news so see the first statement says it's an aryan language it's an aryan language ye aryan language nahi hai but it is a dravidian language ye aryan language nahi hai and it is spoken in the hilly regions of north india ye to galat baat galat hai galat statement hai kyunki ye udupi aur dakshin kannada aur kasaragod district in kerala and karnataka ke uh, malnad region mein bhi ye baat karte hai tulu language to first statement is wrong तो आप सीधा आज आ, आ, आ सकते हैं आफ्टर एलिमिनेटिंग द स्टेटमेंट वन यू कम टू द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज टू एंड थ्री टू तुलू एपिक्स नेमली श्री भागवतो एंड कावेरी फ्रॉम द सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी वर आल्सो रिटन इन द सेम स्क्रिप्ट दैट इज कनाडा स्क्रिप्ट द तुलू लैंग्वेज इज नोन फॉर इट्स ओरल लिटरेचर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एपिक पोएम्स कॉल्ड परदाना यस दीज टू आर करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट बट दिस इज नॉट एन आर्यन लैंग्वेज इट इज अ द्रोविडियन लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज नॉट स्पोकन इन नॉर्थ इंडिया fact they it was a news because uh, there have been growing clamor for tulu to be included in the 8th schedule of the uh, constitution and also to give official language status in karnataka and kerala though there are dominant uh, numbers population uh, who are uh, speaking tulu in karnataka and kerala but still it is not included in the 8th schedule and also there is no official language status given to this language so that's why it was in news so let's see what's tulu all about it's a dravidian language i already told you it is not an aryan language it's a dravidian language south indian ka language hai ye and the speakers are concentrated in dakshin kannada like maan le ki ye south india hai and ye goa goa ke niche karnataka aur idhar kerala to idhar dakshin kannada comes here in south so in the south of karnataka and north of kerala in this belt in this dakshin kannada and kasaragod belt of south india very much correct ankit very much can correct so the the speakers of tulu language are concentrated in dakshin kannada that is south of karnataka region in the coastal region and southern part of udupi of karnataka in southwestern india they are also tulu speakers in kasaragod which is in the northern northernmost district of kerala the native speakers of tulu are also known as tuluva or tulu people and the geographical area is unofficially called tulu nadu the various medieval inscriptions of tulu from the 15th century are in the tulu script two tulu epics namely shri bhagavato and kaveri from the 17th century were also written in the same script however usually they use the kannada and tulu scripts they use and uh, for most of the works you know uh, there are two uh, epics which has written by them that is shri bhagavato and kaveri they have written in this tulu script however in the modern times tulu language is mostly written in kannada script tulu language is known for its oral literature in the form of epic poem poems called pardana if you go to uh, udupi district and uh, dakshin kannada district kasaragod district you find this pardana poems by the local people who will be uh, singing in tulu and it will be sung during many festivals and marriages and other occasions they see this uh, they sing this pardana poems it is epic poems okay so epic of siri the epic of siri and the legend of koti and chennaiya belong to this category of tulu literature so they also this this is very famous siri siri nadu they say uh, like epics of siri and the legends of koti and chennaiya are the epic poems called pardana is seen in this category of tulu language now it was in news because they want to want tulu to be included in the 8th schedule of the constitution and also given the official language status in karnataka and kerala <coughs> so this is a dravidian language and the speakers are concentrated see here i have given the beautiful map also 
where is this yaar okay here in the southern parts of karnataka from udupi to dakshin kannada and northern part of uh, kerala that is kasargod all this here we see this tuluva people most of the bollywood uh, shettis they speak the tulu language so it's very famous the next as per the 2011 census report there are around 18,46,427 Tulu speaking people in India. There are a large number of people like 18 lakh is not less number. So Robert Caldwell in 1814 to 1891 he lived in his book a comparative grammar of the Dravidian or South Indian family of languages called Tulu one of the most highly developed languages of the Dravidian family. Tulu has a rich oral literature tradition with folk song forms like Padana I already saw, told you here, Paddana is nothing but the Paddana. Traditional folk literature, Yakshagana. At 17 of the Indian constitution deals with official languages in Article 343 to 351. The constitutional provisions relating to the age schedule are Article 344 provides for the constitution of a commission by the president on the expiration of five years from the commencement of the constitution. Article 351 provides for the spread of the Hindi language to develop it so that it may serve as a medium of expression for all the elements of the composite culture of India. Correct. So you should know these articles that is Article 344, Article 351. Okay. Now which are the languages which are included? Assam is Bengali. Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Kashmiri, Konkani, Malayalam, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Odia, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu, Bodo, Santali, Maithali and Dogri are the 22 languages at present which is in the 8th schedule of the constitution. So, in the 8th schedule, mein aapko, aapke paas hai 22 languages and you should remember about this article 344 and article 351. Yes, English is not there. And all these languages are in the 8th schedule. Next question is about Ram Prasad Bismil. Please answer in the live chat. Last two minutes left. Come on, answer. Last minute.
so b answer is given by ankit aman and pritham yes the correct answer is b he was not associated she uh, he was associated with uh, satyashodak samaj no it is so satyashodak samaj was associated with jyotiba phule and savitri bai phule and not by uh, ram prasad bismil he published a pamphlet titled deswasiyon ke naam yes he distributed it along with his poem manipur ki pratigya on january 1918 he participated in mani main puri uh, sorry not main puri one sec there is some so ram prasad bismil was not associated with satyashodak samaj it was jyoti bai phule and uh, savitri bai phule who were associated with satyashodak samaj he published a pamphlet uh, titled deswasiyon ke naam and distributed it along with his poem that is main puri ki pratigya and he participated in main puri conspiracy in 1918 so they have asked for correct statement and it is 2 and 3 are the correct answer here so yes ram prasad bismil was a freedom fighter you all know how famous he was he was born in 1897 so he was born in 1897 in a non descript village in uttar pradesh shahjahanpur district he was among the most notable indian revolutionaries ram prasad bismil was one of the notable notable revolutionaries he fought the british colonialism he made it possible for the nation to breathe the air of freedom after centuries of struggle against the imperial forces he was associated with arya samaj from a very early age can you name one more person who is associated with arya samaj prabhu it is because of your network can you please tell me who was another revolutionary uh, the extremist very famous extremist uh, who was uh, associated with arya samaj no not raja ramon roy i have to kill took about took his name lot in my classes lala lachpat rai correct ankit it is lala lachpat rai he was the one who was associated with arya samaj from uh, arya samaj and the second extremist is uh, ram prasad bismil he was a very notable indian revolutionary and he fought against british colonialism he made it possible for the nation to breathe the air of freedom after centuries of struggle against uh, the imperial forces he was associated with arya samaj from a very early age so that's why it is coming blur prabhu not my mistake so bismil along with jenda lal dikshit a school teacher from auraya he organized youth from ithawa mainpuri agra and shahjanpur district to strengthen their organization matrividi and shivaji samiti inhone ek teacher ke sath ek school teacher ke sath milke bahut hi बहुत ही बढ़िया एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर्मेशन किए थे दैट इज मातृवेदी एंड शिवाजी समिति ही पब्लिश अ पैम्फलेट कॉल्ड देशवासियों के नाम एंड ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इट अलोंग विद द पोएम मेन पुरी की प्रतिज्ञा ऑन जनवरी 28 1918 टू कलेक्ट फंड्स फॉर द पार्टीज दे लूटेड द गवर्नमेंट कॉफर्स आफ्टर कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग व्यूज एंड ग्रोइंग रिसेंटमेंट हुए द कांग्रेस पार्टी ही फॉर्मड द हिंदुस्तान रिपब्लिकन ऑर्गेनाइज एसोसिएशन विच सून हैड लीडर्स लाइक भगत सिंह एंड चंद्रशेखर आजाद सो देर वर कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग व्यूज एंड ग्रोइंग रिसेंटमेंट हुए द कांग्रेस पार्टी ही फॉर्मड द हिंदुस्तान रिपब्लिक एसोसिएशon एंड that hindustan republic association was also uh, having leaders like bhagat singh and chandrashekar azad so all these revolutionaries they fought against this 
British colonialism. So he, please remember, he was revolutionary and he was associated with Arya Samaj. He had uh, published a pamphlet called Deswasiyon Ke Naam and he had written a poet that is Main Puri Ki Pratigya and he used to uh, loot the government coffers to collect fund for the parties after and he was also uh, he formed this uh, hindustan republic uh, association along with other leaders like bhagat singh and chandrashekar azad so he participated in the main puri conspiracy of 1918 Uh, on August 1925, Ram Prasad Bismil, along with the companions Ashwakula Khan and others, executed the plan of looting the train at Kafori near Lucknow. His ideals of freedom struggle stood in stark contrast to that of Mahatma Gandhi, and he would reportedly say, "Independence would not be achieved by the means of non-violence." He was hanged in Gorakhpur jail in 1927, and he was cremated on the banks of Rapti River. The site later came to be known as Raj Ghat. So please remember about this great man, Ram Prasad Bismil, a revolutionary. Uh, he was also one of the founders of Hindustan Republican Association, along with Bhagat Singh and Chandrasekhar Azad. So he was not associated with Satya Shodak Samaj. Satya Shodak Samaj was associated with Pu- uh, Jyoti Ba Pule and Savitri Ba Pule and his followers. Not uh, Satya Shodak Samaj. He was associated with Arya Samaj. Who was the one who formed Arya Samaj? Answer in the live chat. Arya Samaj को कौन form किए थे? Come on, answer. Who formed Arya Samaj? Yes, Swami Dhyananda Saraswati. They have many uh, contributions. They had a lot of influence on the freedom fighters, and uh, you know, <clears throat> back to the Vedas, and uh, uh, you know, Shuddhi movement was also launched by this uh, Arya Samaj. There were schools, Arya Samaj ka schools, both famous. They in ideology, both famous. They both influential. Thi. So uh, Lala Rajput Rai was also uh, devoted Aryan Arya Samaj. Uh, fellow uh, and now you have ram prasad bismil also uh, arya samaj fellow so please remember about him you should not yes <coughs> you should not miss any uh, points from what i teach in your prelims that's why so next question is about raja parva festival please answer i'll give you 3 minutes time so this is raja parva festival last one minute for all of you to answer So all of you have answered D as the uh, correct answer. Very much correct. <coughs> so it is D, which is correct answer. And this is Raja Parva Fest. This is the question is about Raja Parva Festival, and they have asked the following statements. And choose 
the correct statement it is believed that the mother goddess earth or the divine wife of lord vishnu she undergoes the menstruation during the first 3 days and the fourth day is called vasumati snana or ceremonial bath of bhudevi the silver idol of bhudevi is still to be found in puri temple besides the lord jagannath all three are correct see this raja parva festival is uh, you know menstruation festival and they give respect for uh, mother earth so they believe the mother goddess earth or the divine wife of lord vishnu that is bhudevi she will be menstruating during this time and uh, they celebrate this festival the fourth day is called vasumati snana or the ceremonial bath of bhudevi and a silver idol of bhudevi is still found in puri temple besides lord jagannath i have already told you puri temple is also known as white pagoda of odisha what is this raja parva festival all about it is a 3 day long festival of women wood and it is celebrated in odisha odisha mein ye celebrate karte hai uh, uh, raja parva festival ko they celebrate or they worship women wood like you know uh, how women uh, give birth to the child and they sustain the family uh, to celebrate the women wood uh, they celebrate this 3 day long festival the second day of the festival signifies beginning of the solar month of mithuna from which the season of rains start so it is you can say it is also associated with agriculture because it signifies the beginning of the solar month of mithuna from which the season of rains starts it is believed that the mother goddess earth or the divine wife of lord vishnu she undergoes a menstruation during the first 3 days the fourth day is called the vasumati snana or ceremonial bath of bhudevi the term raja came from the sanskrit word rajas which means menstruation and when a woman menstruates she is called rajaswala or a menstruating woman is what they say and in medieval times the festival became more popular as an agricultural holiday it marked the worship of bhudevi she is also wife of lord jagannath a silver idol of bhudevi is still to be found in the puri temple besides lord jagannath according to popular belief as women menstruate uh, which is a sign of fertility so as the mother earth men menstruate so all three days of the festivals are considered to be the menstruating period of mother earth during the festival all agricultural operations remain suspended is there any doubts here Kamakshi Temple of Assam, not Meenakshi Temple of Assam, Ankit. It is Kamakshi Temple of Assam, Kamakya. Lord, Lord Kamakya, Goddess Kamakya. Ambu Bachi Mela. You are talking about Ambu Bachi Mela. I have covered this festival also. Yes, Ambubachi Mela hota hai Kamakya mein. They also celebrate the women festival of womenhood. The same way here in Odisha also they celebrate uh, womenhood, uh, especially Bhumi Devi. Uh, they consider her as a uh, wife of Vishnu, and they see it as a uh, uh, relevance or signifying the beginning of uh, uh, see rain see raining season. It starts from here, so it is also associated with agriculture. So. The silver idol of Bhudevi is found in Puri Temple besides Lord Jagannath, and they believe that me women menstruate is a sign of fertility, and also Mother Earth also menstruates here. All agricultural activities remain suspended, and a joyous atmosphere pervades here. The young men of the village keep themselves busy in various types of country games. The most famous being कबड्डी कबड्डी तो बहुत लोग खेलते हैं क्योंकि ये ये थ्री ये तीन दिन में एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज आर सस्पेंडेड एंड इट्स अ जॉयस एटमोसफियर एवरीवेयर एंड ऑल ऑफ देम 
you know they play the country games and the most famous is kabaddi the competitions are also held between different groups of villagers there will be many many other local games which will be played like how we play uh, during uh, pongal times we have which festival which one it is always in news the bull race the buffalo race the bull race that's always in news during pongal time in tamil nadu the local come on answer jallikattu jallikattu they will perform during pongal time all nights jatra performances or goti goti pua dances are arranged in prosperous villages where they can afford uh, the professional groups enthusiastic amateurs also arrange plays and other kinds of entertainment this goti pua dance it is a type of odisha dance but it is performed by male dancers they put the vesh vesha of girls and they dance in this goti pua dances okay so it is a form of odisha dance and male male they will dress themselves as female and they dance in this goti pua dance so this is about uh, raja parva because uh, raja is nothing but the women who starts menstruating are called rajas because they are the ones who you know take uh, take the family forward they are the signs of fertility and so they say these three days uh, they will celebrate the women would they feel that uh, mother earth is menstruating and we have to stop uh, troubling her there will be no agricultural activities for the for the three days and after that there will be fourth day mein unko vasumati snana kar dete hai wo ceremonial bath of bhu devi will happen and bhu devi is nothing but the wife of uh, wife of lord vishnu and they have kept a silver idol of bhu devi in puri temple of jagannath in uh, puri dist- puri of uh, odisha so ye odisha mein festival hote hai this is somewhat similar to uh, this one ambubachi mela of kamakya temple in assam so any doubts here you can ask me in the live chat no doubts can we move forward okay chalo next question this is about flag satyagraha flag satyagraha please answer come on answer last two minutes in the live chat please answer okay only ankita has answered others okay prabhu has answered last 2 minutes last 1 minute now okay pritam uh, i'll cut short the time it is pritam ankit anand prabhu and uh, aman have answered yes it is b it is ministry of culture correct ankit it is ministry of culture not ministry of tourism uh, ye wrong hai it was held in jabalpur and nagpur in 1923 jabalpur is in madhya pradesh nagpur is in maharashtra you all know that this was held in 19 23 ये झंडा सत्याग्रह भी 
खेलाए जाते हैं द न्यूज ऑफ फ्लैग हॉइस्टिंग इन जबलपुर स्प्रेड लाइक फायर इन द कंट्री एंड अदर फ्लैग्स वर हॉइस्टेड एट सेवरल प्लेसेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री सो दिस फ्लैग सत्याग्रह हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर एंड इट वाज हेल्ड इन 1923 इन जबलपुर एंड नागपुर द न्यूज ऑफ फ्लैग हॉइस्टिंग इन जबलपुर स्प्रेड लाइक फायर इन द कंट्री एंड अदर फ्लैग्स वर आल्सो हॉइस्टेड एट सेवरल प्लेसेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री दिस इज टू एंड थ्री See here, the Ministry of Culture on 18th June had organized a program to observe the flag satyagraha, which happened in Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh. The flag satyagraha movement by the freedom fighters shook the British government and it infused a new life into the freedom movement. It is also known as Janda Satyagraha. It was held in Jabalpur and Nagpur in 1923. The news of flag hoisting in Jabalpur spread like fire in the country and after flags were hoisted at several places across the country the news of flag hoisting in Jabalpur it spread like fire in the country and uh, many flags were also hoisted at several places across the country it's a campaign of peaceful civil disobedience it focused on exercising the right and freedom to hoist the national nationalist flag challenge the legitimacy of the british rule in india through the defiance of laws prohibiting the hoisting of nationalist flags and restricting the civil freedoms the arrest of national pro nationalist protesters demanding the right to hoist the flag caused an outcry across india especially as gandhi had recently been arrested so please understand this is organized by Uh, Ministry of Culture. It was first organized in uh, Jabalpur. When this happened in Jabalpur and Nagpur in 1923, this spread like a wildfire all over the country and many other places also. There were flag hoisting. Uh, uh, they said like oh, we have already got freedom. करके सब जगह में flag hoist कर रहे थे. And it's a campaign of peaceful civil disobedience. It focused on exercising the right and freedom to hoist the nationalist flag. Many people were arrested. Especially Gandhi was arrested during this Janda Satyagraha. nationalist leaders such as sardar vallabhai patel manlal bajaj chakravarti rajgopal achari dr rajendra prasad vinoba bhave they organized the revolt and thousands of people from different regions traveled to nagpur and other parts of the central provinces to participate in civil disobedience in the end the british negotiated an agreement with patel and other congress leaders permitting the protesters to conduct their march unhindered and obtaining the release of all those arrested so in the end mein kya hua tha the british negotiated an agreement with sardar vallabhai patel and other congress leaders they allowed these people to conduct the janda satyagraha peacefully and uh, they also tried to obtain the release of all those who are arrested that is gandhi was also arrested in the janda satyagraha so they went on and they got these people release so patel was very strategic he was very strategic in negotiating and uh, he see he conducted the march also and also got the people released too so who are involved sardar vallabhai patel jamna lal bajaj chakravarti rajgopal achari dr rajendra prasad and vinobha bhave were the people who participated here ठीक है दिस इज अबाउट जनता सत्याग्रह अब दिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर स्टार्टेड दिस मूवमेंट फर्स्ट इट वॉज हेल्ड इन जबलपुर लेटर ऑन इन जबलपुर एंड नागपुर इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री इट स्प्रेड लाइक वाइल्ड फायर ऑल ओवर द कंट्री एंड अदर फ्लैक्सल प्लेसेस दिस इज This was a campaign of peaceful civil disobedience. They focused on exercising the right and freedom to hoist the nationalist flag, challenge the legitimacy of British rule in our country. They wanted to exercise the right of hoisting our own flag. The next question is about Kabir Das. Two minutes for all of you. good pratham others
So Preeta, Mankit, and Aman have answered. All of you have answered C. Now Gautam also answered. It is C. Last minute left. You can follow me uh, in Telegram. That is Shilpa underscore and Academy. Use my code Shilpa and Ten for any subscriptions or any referral codes. You can use my code. That is Shilpa and Ten. And also follow my profile Shilpa Nagaraju in my uh, an Academy profile and check my classes. I'll be dealing with current affairs, international relations, and PYQs. Now I'll be starting with uh, from Sunday. There will be prelim mocks happening. Prelim mocks will be t uh, taken care of in the an academy platform. So keep tuned to my channel. Many interesting things which will be focusing on your prelims will be coming up. So let's see the correct answer. It is one and three. There is C. There is no buy here. Another fifteen minutes is there. So they've asked for correct statement here. And this is related to Kabir Das. He was a very renowned saint, poet and social reformer of India. He lived during 20th, 20th century. He did not. He did not live during 20th century. He was a renowned saint, poet and social reformer of India. This is correct. He did not believe in any, any religious discrimination and readily accepted all the religion so it is one and three which is correct he was not during uh, 20th century so kabir das jayanti was happening the birth anniversary of sant kabir das was observed on jeshta purnima tithi that is this year it was on june 24th he was a very renowned saint he was a poet he was a social reformer of india and he lived during 15th century not 20th century Yes, from Monday to Friday, it happens every day from 3 to 4. Monjit. Yaar, Pritam, aap toh humko baga rahe ho, yaar. So, he was a very renowned saint, poet and social reformer of India. He lived during the 15th century. And yes, he was contemporary to Nanak Sahib. His esteemed words and poems, it, the, it describes the greatness, oneness of the supreme being. He was a proponent of the Bhakti movement. He did not believe in any religious discrimination and readily accepted all the religions. So, he was a proponent of Bhakti movement. He has written many dohes and they are very and they are very uh, rich in social reforms and, and teachings. They हम फॉलो करते हैं इनके दोहे के दोहे में जो जो लेसन्स ये बोले हैं तो अगर हम फॉलो करते हैं तो हमारा बहुत ही इंप्रूवमेंट हो जाता है तो एंड ही डिड नॉट बिलीव इन एनी रिलीजियस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ही रेडीली एक्सेप्टेड ऑल द रिलीजियंस लाइक यार आप क्रिश्चियन हैं आप मुस्लिम हैं आप हिंदू हैं आप जैन हैं बुद्धिस्ट हैं कौन सी रिलीजन भी हो आपकी तत्व हमसे ठीक लगेगा या हमारा माइंड मैच ठीक होता है तो वी एक्सेप्ट यू ऐसे बोल रहे थे ये और रिलीजियस कम Community known as Kabir Pant. Kabir Pant was founded by him, and the members of this forum are referred to as Kabir Panthis. Swami Ramananda influence was there on Kabir Das because Kabir Das ideologies were greatly influenced by Vaishnava Saint Swami Ramananda, who accepted Kabir as his disciple. So his verses are found in Sikhism's scripture, that is Guru Granth Sahib. The major part of his work was collected by 5th Sikh Guru, that is Guru Arjun Dev. The hallmark of Sant Kabir Das work consists of his two-line couplets known as Kabir Ke Dohe. So his esteemed works and poems, it describes about the greatness and oneness of the Supreme Being. He was a great proponent of Bhakti movement. And please remember, he had a religious community called uh, Kabir Pant. जैसे हमारा वसवंत नायक जी के लिए लिंगायत्स लोग थे, अनुभव मंटप थे, ऐसे ही इनके पास कबीर पंत से एंड द मेंबर्स वर कॉल्ड बक कबीर पंतीस, ही हैड अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस फ्रॉम, ही वाज वेरी मच इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय वाइशनवा सेंट दैट इस वामी रमानंदा and he accepted Kabir as his disciple. So the major part of his work was collected by the fifth Sikh Guru, that is Guru Arjan Dev. The hallmark of Sant Kabir Das work consists of two line couplets, that is Dohe. 
नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे दिस इज कबीर दास कबीर दास के जयंती ऑब्जर्व किए थे तो इसलिए मैंने ये करंट अफेयर्स न्यूज में डाली थी कम ऑन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे ये कड़कनाथ है कड़कनाथ चिकन कड़कनाथ चिकन के बारे में पूछे है प्लीज आंसर लेट मी चेक इन द चैट लास्ट टू मिनट्स Come on last 1 minute Correct last minute Don't know about it. Okay, so this is about Khadakna chicken. It's a breed of chicken. It's a breed of chicken originating from Jabua. एंड धार डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न बिहार नहीं है ये ये वेस्टर्न ये वेस्टर्न मध्य प्रदेश से है इट इज पॉपुलर फॉर इट्स ब्लैक मीट इट इज फेमस फॉर इट्स मीट क्वालिटी टेक्सचर टेस्ट एंड एक्सलेंट मेडिसिनल वैल्यूज इट इज ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर इट्स लो कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड हाई प्रोटीन कंटेंट तो ये वन पॉइंट फाइव के जी चिकन इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड झारखंड में भी मिलता है सब जगह में मिलता है ये तो मध्य प्रदेश का है so it is uh, it is 2 and 3 b is correct answer kadaknath is also called as kali masi or the fowl having black flesh is an indian breed of chicken and they originated from dhar and jabua of madhya pradesh these birds are mostly bred by the rural poor tribals and adivasis there are three varieties jet black and uh, you have golden and penciled the meat from this breed as geographical indication tag it was approved by the indian government in 2018 the kadaknath is popular for its adaptability and its gray black meat it is believed to be infused vega uh, its color is caused by melanin the breed is considered to have originated from kathiwar ali rajpur jungles in jabua district of madhya pradesh kadaknath birds are gray black all over and they have gold plumage with greenish iridescence iridescence and the grayish black color is present in the legs toenails beak tongue comb and wattles even the meat bones and organs have gray coloration so please uh, see kadaknath chicken is very very famous and uh, it's very costly too it has a gi tag it is from madhya pradesh they are mainly bred by the rural poor tribal and adivasis uh, they they have this gray black meat and they are very tasty and they are also known for low cholesterol and high protein and then for this wrestlers and all they go for this kadaknath or the kali masi chicken breed of chicken from madhya pradesh so ready for the last question last question hai bankim chandra chatopadhyay b ke bare mein please answer
Yes, tantrics also use this. Come on, answer. So this is about Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. D D D D D D. Bol raha hai sab log. Yes, this is about Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. Consider the following statements and which of the above statements are correct. He wrote the national song Vande Mataram. His novel Anand Mat was set in the background of Sanyasi Bidroho. Yes, I've already discussed about this, Sanya C. Bitro and Anandamata also. His first Bengali fiction is called Durgesh Nandini, published in 1865. So it is all of the above, that is D. He was a Bengali poet and a writer. He wrote the national song Vande Mataram. His novel Anandamat was set in the background of Sanyashi Bidroh or the rebellion of monks in late 18th century. It is considered to be one of the key works of the Bengal's nationalism. His first Bengali fiction is called Durgesh Nandini, published in 1865. He also wrote other famous novels like Kapal Kundala in 1866, Mrinalini in 1869, uh, Vish Briksha in uh, 1873, Chandrasekhar in 1877, Rajani in 1877, Rajasimha in 1881, uh, Devi Choudu Rani in 1884 also. Yes, D is the correct answer. He brought out a monthly magazine called Banga Darshan in 1872. His first, first uh, fiction to appear in print was the English novel Raj Mohan's Wife. So, this is about Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. He was a Bengali poet. He wrote the national song that is Vande Matram. I hope you all know who wrote the national anthem. So, uh, we see this Vande Matram in Anand Mat. Uh, Anand Mat is a novel written by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. And uh, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, Anand Mat was in the, in the background of Sanyasi Bidroha. Heavy rain every, everywhere in, in India. So, monsoon seasons, hi, hi. So, we saw about Karakna chicken. They originate from Western, uh, Western Madhya Pradesh. They are popular for its black meat and it's known for its uh, meat quality, texture, taste and excellent medicinal values. Famous for its low cholesterol and high protein content. And we saw about Vedas, he was a disciple of Swami uh, Ramananda, he was a PYQ today, it is not there from Sunday. Sunday you will have uh, one uh, mock, mock, prelims mock in the afternoon. In the afternoon I will take 3 to 5, I will take one prelims mock. Or 2 to 3 I will take, 2 to 4 I will take prelims mock and 4 to 5 there will be PYQ. I will post in the group, Prabhu. Others too. Prelim smock hoga. 2 to, four, two to 4 tak. A prelim smock and PYQ session from 4 to 5 Sunday. So please keep tuned. Today there will be only this much. Kabir Das ke mein amne dekhe. And we saw about uh, flag Satyagraha. We saw Raja Prabha festivals. Celebrating the womanhood in uh, Odisha. And uh, we saw this Ram Prasad Bismal. He was associated with Arya Samaj like Lala Rajput Rai. And also from Sunday you have rigorous sessions. From morning 7 o'clock to uh, 7 o'clock onwards I am planning to take current affairs, international relations and afternoon I want to take uh, one mock, MC, mock session. And uh, you have uh, the exams. No, the same time I want to take sessions. Okay. So please follow me on my telegram channel Shilpa underscore Unacademy and also my profile uh, in uh, you know Unacademy so that you can follow my schedule and don't miss my classes. So we saw about Tulu language, it's a Dravidian language, concentrate the speakers are in Dakshin Kannada and Udupi of South Karnataka and also Kasargod district of Karnataka. 
I'm not an academy, an academy platform that is uh, online classes hota hai na, an academy mein, udar mein classes leti hu. I think it's uh, available even in an academy app. Yes, I will just, I will uh, post this now in uh, the telegram channel. I, I'm sorry, now I'll post. So, chalo, thank you so much. Catch you at mock. Uh, uh, please follow my profile. I will be scheduling the classes.